Welcome to the Honda Lab. As you know, Honda has been thoroughly committed to the realization of a society with zero environmental impact and zero traffic collisions, and is also committed to new initiatives that enable Honda to take on challenges in many new areas. Well, Honda R&D is pursuing exciting outside-the-box research on technologies that could change our world forever. Today, we're going to show you the first of three exciting new initiatives. But first, let's take a look at the Honda trivia question of the day. Honda was the world's first automaker to comply with the U.S. Clean Air Act in the 1970s. What engine was developed with this in mind? Was it A, the IV Tech, B, CVCC, or C, the 1.3-liter EV? We'll check back a little later to see how you did. So after the success of the original Honda Jet, Honda wanted to make mobility in our skies even more accessible for people. That's why Honda is working to develop its EVTOL, or Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Aircraft. Honda hopes to leverage its electrification technologies and develop the Honda EVTOL equipped with a gas turbine hybrid power unit. And in addition to electrification technologies, it would feature technologies Honda has amassed in a number of different areas, such as combustion, aerodynamics, and control technologies. The adoption of the hybrid power unit, for example, facilitates the extension of range, which will enable the Honda EVTOL to provide intercity or city-to-city -city transportation in a clean and efficient way. In addition to this clean operation, it would feature safety at a level equivalent to commercial passenger airplanes. This is because of its simple structure and decentralized propulsion system, which also adds to its quietness due to the relatively small diameter of the rotors. This would make it possible for the EVTOL to take off and land in the middle of a city without causing noise issues. With the EVTOL at its core, Honda will strive to create a new mobility ecosystem that will be intrinsically connected with Honda's mobility products here on the ground. This is a game changer for sure, and it looks like we may get those often fantasized about flying cars sooner than expected. So earlier we asked you what engine did Honda develop in the 1970s to help reduce harmful emissions? The correct answer is B, the CVCC. In 1970, the US Congress passed the Clean Air Act, which called for the first tailpipe emission standards, a regulation thought at the time to be the most stringent in the world. Honda developed the low pollution CVCC engine that successfully reduced carbon monoxide, hydrocarbon, and nitrogen oxide emissions. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning in. So until next time, take care and be safe.